welcome to the shed. What's this thing? What's oh, this thing on my face? What is this? What's I feel going? something. What is this on my neck? Oh, it's not ah, what is it? Ah, hey, hey. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so right behind me here is the famous shed. It's not really famous, but anyhow, it's the shed. When I grew up, I used to spend a lot of time in my mom's sheds and it became the place for the neighborhood to hang out in. I don't really use it guys because I have barely have any tool. My lawn motor is broken. So I'm thinking I'm gonna empty it and I'm gonna refurbish it, clean it. And today is the day that we start a cleanup process. Okay, now I think the biggest problem we have here is gonna be to find a place where we're gonna put all the stuff in there because there's so many tires, tent, like even the old inflatable we used at the summer camp, it's, it's in there as well. So we're gonna have to clean this out, but we have to find a place to put all that stuff and that is not something we actually figured out yet. So let's start, we'll see. All we have to do now is figure out where all this thing is going to go. Uh, most of those things are gonna go away. Thinking about this, idea very awesome what are you guys gonna do in here you think mama game why night. is there something game here? night <laughs> that's so cool hey, it actually opens no way something that's funny in all the years that we've lived here i've never even noticed that there was a window there my dad has a lot of stuff that can help you in here he has a huge vacuum oh, yeah. i have a huge yeah. vacuum too that's the vacuum. that's the vacuum did you brought it home for especially this yeah i brought it home just so that we can vacuum out your shed okay, so it's Yeah. There's a lot of things that have to be cleaned in there. They have all these ideas, this stuff. They go inside, they're talking about like what they're gonna do, how they're gonna do it and stuff. So they have all those plans already. So that's pretty cool, it's working. Now it's time to vacuum. Let me show you first what it looks like because you haven't seen it, hold on. So all clean guys, everything is cleaned up. There's nothing anymore except we need to clean all this mess. This is for grass actually, Grace. Maybe you should pick it up and throw it on the grass. Except there's like mouse poo all over it. And this is gonna stay there just for now. I'm gonna use it for the roof because the roof needs some help. You can vacuums right here. Papa. And then we're gonna vacuum all of this. Somebody turn it on for me. You want me to turn it on for you? Can I sit mm -hmm. He says there's tons of cocoon everywhere and he's freaking out. So I don't know if he's actually gonna finish the job. I'm not too sure. We'll see. There's a little mouse there's right a mouse, a mouse. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's happening? Huh? There's apparently a mouse in there. They just start screaming. We saw a little cute mouse like running around on this side. Yeah. yeah. On top there. Uh -huh. Where'd it go? So you saw a cute mouse on top here. Yeah. And now it's gone? But I got scared of it, so I screamed. Ah. I think. I think the mouse is not here anymore. I think he got scared by this, or by this guy. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Oh, it's right. even louder than this thing. So it's coming along pretty well, look at this. Good job, Gab. What happens with the mouse? Well, the mouse is gonna go away because mouse don't wanna live with you, so it's gonna find another house somewhere else. put some carpet like little grass carpet over there one of them could like hang out out there one of them can hang out at the bottom we're gonna reinforce it put some wood so they can like lay down here read a book in the afternoon we can put a couch right there get me down please fix those things there so there's a little bit of work to be done there's a little friend living in here for the, for the moment so we're hoping that he's gonna go so i don't know how this is gonna turn out but anyhow this is clean now hopefully that'll create some memories i even saw mimi peeking out she came in and she looked inside here what's going on because i think she might be the one that likes it the most really I I don't know if this can support Wait, like oh, three yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm actually gonna use this one here. I'm gonna put it underneath here to secure this to make it more sturdy, more soft, more strong. Papa, do you have a pen, said... babe? Don't do that. You're gonna fall. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Okay, something like that. Wow. How'd you get in the backyard? We're gonna put. A oh, Mimi said, in oh, oh, they're in the backyard. I'm like, oh. Okay. And like to be easier, we're gonna put a ladder. Mia Jade's dad's gonna put a shelf and a ladder. I think I have a ladder. Wait, look. We can um, put it like this. Maybe we, and we can cut it. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Let's mark it right here to bring it to your dad. Hand. Yeah, mark it, please. Do you give it to us? Or give it oh, we don't need it. We don't need it. Oh, okay. Are you sure? Well, you gotta ask. We have to ask your mom and dad too, uh, Leah. Oh, I don't know if your dad's ask. gonna be okay for us to okay. cut your ladder. Yeah, how about if he says, oh, that's for your bed? I know. <laughs> 
All right, we'll wait for you. While the kids are so happy, this is the best gift you could give them, really. I an awesome so idea. Too. I think this is all about creating souvenir. I've said that before in our vlog, but I love creating those souvenirs. They're not perfect, then they're souvenirs, and that's what makes a big difference. Sorry, so Mia Jad's dad just helped with the, the wood, so we got the wood done. Now, I don't know how we're gonna nail it, though. That's, what are you gonna do? Did I take the measurement wrong? Okay, so for now, it's gonna be here. You have like a little gap. Oh yeah, whoops. Oops. I might have waited too long. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna damage this part. So uh, another... See yeah. why I don't do that usually? <laughs> hey, strong man! Yeah, I, I can bring it okay. to you. We have our first roadblock because the bigger kids are saying that this is their shed, which is not. It's, it's for everybody's everybody. shed. So they're choosing the color of the paint right oh, now. Oh, like... okay. Well. All right, so thanks to Mijad's dad, he helped us cut the wood. Yeah. And also, we borrow a drill, and he gives us two screws that comes with it. We are the we have the best neighbors. It takes a whole neighborhood yeah. to raise children. And by the way, we have blinds, which is really good. Oh, and Leah, there's a it mouse pops. in here, so be careful. It pops. Wait, well, he's not going to yeah. come back. Yeah, he's now not, he doesn't like it anymore. He doesn't like it. Push. Okay, well, I don't know if this is really going to hold anything. Oh yeah, it's holding. It's holding. Did All it? right, we did it, guys. So the ladder's in. Okay, before we go any further, guys, I need to I need to tell you guys, this shed is for all of you. I do not want anybody to be kicked out of this shed because it's not only yours; it's everyone. Everybody that comes into our house is welcome. Okay? Yes. So no fight. You make yes. decision together. If you want to choose the paint, you choose the paint together. You yes. do it together. Yes. Guys, who wants white? Uh, white. <laughs> What's this thing? What's oh, this thing on my face? What is this? What's I feel something. On? What is this on my neck? Oh, it's not ah, what is it? It what was only it? this. Oh. What is it? <laughs> I thought it was a mouse. I thought the mouse went on my neck. I'm like, I know that all it did was like I felt something on my neck, and I was like, okay, that's the mouse. It must, it must it have felt. Mouse. It must have felt like this. It must have felt right like this. I was like, what is that? What? what? <laughs> Okay, now it's too short. No. no. That's my kind of thing, though. Seriously. Well, that so was now good. those screws are really definitely not going to be long enough. But... Why not nail from on top? Cameron. Did you hear what Gab just said? No, what did he say? He said, hey, Papa, why don't nail just right on top? Wow, Gabby, that's why you're going to be an engineer. For a sec, I thought you already thought of it yourself, well, so... Uh... I did not. That is impressive. I did not think about it at all. I was trying to figure out how to do it from the front. Yeah. At first, I was trying to do it from the back. Yeah. And Gabby came out with that. You really yeah, didn't think of it? Seriously, you're so. I didn't know at all. Not wow. at all. I was actually confused. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get more nail, bigger nail, something. Make it a bit more that way. Yeah, no, sure I'm yeah okay. you're in. You're in. Like here, right? Yeah, right here. Well, but don't That's make it. it go in the crack. See, there's a crack here? I was right in the middle. I was like, I'm gonna do it in the middle. I was right in the crack. Gabby, you're too smart for Papa. On a rampage. All right, now, okay, now this is good. Some pictures coming down here. I think it came out on the other side. All right, for now, at least, for today. That's gonna protect, because it's gonna rain tonight. Yeah, was super worried. He goes behind. He looks behind him. <laughs> oh, oh, watch out, guys! I'm coming out. Oh gosh, my back. I move all those things now, and the carpet will fit perfectly. So that's very good. A little bit of vacuum, and we're ready to go. Man. We did a lot of nice work. Look at that carpet. That carpet is going to fit perfect now. Yeah. You guys are going to have to take off your shoes when you come inside yeah. your house. There's going to have to be some rules here because... Okay. Yeah, because you're going to get mud all over. Oh, yeah, yeah. we're going to get chores and stuff. Whoa, what is that? Hey! 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 You okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That vacuum has two hands. One hand sucked in, one hand pushed out. Whenever you start it, the dust comes from the hottest side. I was sitting right in front of it when the fume came out. I don't know if we can see on the camera, guys. Just because I was stuck underneath, underneath the piece of wood, I couldn't get out. 
just keep breathing some mouse poop. You look at all the dust coming out with you. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> do the opposite. Do, do Alexia jump. Ow. Alexia, do that jump. You heard your butt? Oh, did you? I heard you. Oh. Oh. So we're good. Now we have a carpet in. Yeah, now we need to do the light. I think we should put it right there. Here? Yeah, good idea. For now, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, blue, blue, blue. I love the ocean blue. Like this, there you go. So it's been a week now the kids have moved into their shed everybody's super happy it just happened the way i thought it was going to be really it creates memories i'm telling you guys you can see them like they're going inside their shed at night they're making plan of what they're going to do they're moving things around they have chores i'm going to show you guys what they did in there it's very different than what it looked like when we started all right guys so they've set up a whole camp here so most of the time they hang out up there, they sit up there. They got a little chair here, a little table with their things, another chair. So they even have a little drawer where they put their things. They have a little board there where they can make, like when they do a little meeting, they write things on their little board there. They have their backpack, they have little toys. They also brought, you know, the tool to clean the shed. They have the place there to remove their shoes, a little trash. We also covered the top here for the time being. So when it rained, at least it doesn't fall on them. It kind of goes along here and then fall on the site, but at least it doesn't fall directly on them. This is a big hit. This place there, they can all hang out there. They have a remote here, so they can also change the light to give like different ambience into their shed. Okay, so they also have the rules here. Home rules, listen to the leader, no shoes in the house, no violence, no parties, no arguing, clean and dirt or get broom get i don't know what the last word is but anyhow so these are the rules of the shed that they establish and they have a little plant there a little flowers and we have some lights here that we bought that only turn on at night so they have like a little solar solar panel oh they have a little notepad here so they can take notes a little timer here you know i'm gonna want time people flower thing it. another candle and each drawer here has stuff in it so they can put their things these are squishable oh they also have their walkie-talkie so they can talk to each other if they need to they have like a little grace bought them a little a mosquito net it's thick with velcro so then the mosquitoes don't come in so they just close it when they walk in they walk out oh and the other thing too that i did i remember I don't know if you guys remember but there was a thing here that every time they went inside they actually locked them in so i took it off and what they do now is they use that little rope here so they close the door there you go, just like that. And then they usually tie it like this. It works really well and that way we're sure that they're not getting locked into the shed because it happens to me before where I actually lock myself in that shed. So that's it guys. Uh, we're gonna update you a little more in the future of what's happening with the shed because we're gonna do a lot of other things. We're supposed to planning on like, painting it. We're planning on like, fixing the, f the, the roof and everything. So thanks for being there guys, we love you. We'll see you guys in the next episode. And remember, never give up. Good night. Good night. Have fun. Okay. I'm gonna start putting this away because it's gonna rain. <laughs>